this part three kind of took a different route than the first two movie. Instead of a slasher route, it took more like the supernatural route. And you see the beginning part of this movie with this girl in a prom with this high school guy, and these high school jock, jocks end up playing a joke on these girls by drugging them. They put them into the car. The woman saw this and she kicked the guy on his nut and nutcase as she ran out. And the guy's chasing her and then knocked out, you know. And he, and she got blood on her forehead, like, and he, and he thought she was dead. So he buried her in the chest and he ran out. Many years later, we got these young girls. And one of the young girls is Kate Mara. Cute as hell. Cutie pie. She is going to be the Vince, the Invisible Woman in the new Fantastic Four movie, by the way. So if you don't know the name Kate Mara, know it now. And I went on IMDb on this actress. Yo, she she's she's from a rich family, man. <laughs> Especially a sports dynasty family. So yeah, check out IMDb on Kate Mara. It's pretty interesting trivia on her. Um, besides that, um, um, Mr. Lee, um, there's a display of these three girls, you know similar to the prelude of the story and you find out these girls were like in missing the parents are wondering what's going on and then a few days later they, they came out they just showing up and came out as character she's just saying that they were like in some kind of old windmill they were all dirty it up when they're woken up and later on you find out that these high school jocks kind of play a prank on these three girls and kind of like set them up you know they wasn't molested or nothing you know but this is played a joke to get back at Kate Mara's character and her friends because they felt like they got, because they were like reporting on the high school article and they were kind of embarrassed that the high school jocks were embarrassed, the football jocks, excuse me, of of the two days of this modern era, of, right, of this era right now, this present century, I mean. And um, so it was like a joke, you know. But later on, mysteriously, these people that were involved in the prank end up dying one by one. And then you find out about Kate Mara's character, um, who um, suddenly seeing this mysterious ghost named Mary Banner, and she wondering who this lady is. As the story progressed, you know, she was like missing, and it started revealing the truth that how she died and what really happened to her. And while her and her brother trying to find out, she, they went to one of her old friends that was one of the was there was also played by the joke in nineteen sixty nine. She grew up, she's older, she lives in the house, she's a hippie chick and she's smoking weed. She loves her weed, man. I don't know, my chick my kind of chick. I like older chicks anyway. Smoking weed down down to earth, man. <laughs> my type of woman. My oh, that's just me talking, sorry. But besides that, you know, the black girl didn't want to help them out at first and she sat talking to them like fine. She let them know what's going on from her past. And then later on, she didn't want to help them, and she decided to help the lady out, Kate Mara's character. And then Kate Mara had a vision. Mary Banner gave her a vision that where she was buried at, and she has to f bury the body of Mary Banner to her grave. But this mysterious character in a hooded um, coat started getting involved, and of course, you could tell it's pretty much the killer who killed Mary Banner. Now, the, t the story has a nice plot twist at the end who, who, um, who was the killer that Kill Mary Banner. We know it's the football jock guy, right? But do we know who he is now when he got older, when he grew up? You know? When, when he got older, I mean. So we don't know who that is, but it, it was going to be revealed reveal at the end anyway. And, um, I mean, I don't want to spoil it because I enjoyed the movie. Why would I spoil a good movie that I enjoyed? That's for bad movies I do that for. But I can tell you this. Um, if you're open minded and you can let, let it supernatural elements slide because I know when you see the first two, two movies you like the slash elements I think you'll enjoy this one um the the death scenes for the for this movie is pretty good simple death scenes um it is bloody and gory but I think the spider scene is the one that stole the show in, the, in this movie but all in all check it out anyway peace guys see you later and Open Legends 3 Bloody Mary say it three times people Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Just kidding.